I will never have to question how much you care about me because you show me every day how special I am, how much you love me, how much you appreciate me. Why Shannon? Oh, she's amazing. She's the best thing ever. She makes everything easy. She's easygoing. She's lovely. She's really fun. She's my best friend. Like, there's no other person. He has always been selfless. He's always been kind. Um, he's always cared more about others than himself. I just felt lucky that he even noticed me. You know, I. I he has one of those energies that's really infectious, and um, you just kind of want to be like him. Um, I feel like I got really lucky. I know how much he loves me. I've always had felt like he's given me self-worth, and I helped him learn how to love Disney, and he helped me learn how to love myself. So why Brian, pretty much, it was always him. And it was always us together against the world. He's my sun and my moon. The vow to promise to love each other through thick and thin for the rest of your lives, to respect each other, to take care of each other and work together, even when your relationship faces difficulties or trials, is sacred and important to carry in your hearts forever. To fall upon the one you love is an extraordinary event. Then to build on that love through time, devotion, and loyalty is a pure blessing. Freshman year, when we first met, I was instantly drawn to you. I remember you being the smart guy in class that always had the answers to everything. And to my surprise, you were pretty funny too. <laughs> it's crazy to think that everything I ever wanted in a man was sitting right in front of me. Shannon, mm -hmm. you are my sun and moon. You are my Minnie to my Mickey. We were created for each other. You are everything to me. I wish I could explain the way I feel when I look into your eyes, or how when you smile, my heart skips a beat. My best friend. All of my greatest life adventures start and end with you, and I can't wait to see what our new adventures will be. I want all that life has to offer us, and I am excited to see where it takes us. I know everything will be okay, because I have you by my side. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. Without you, I would not be the person I am right now. You give me the strength to get up every morning because I just want you to be proud of me. I love you so much. I can't put into words how lucky I am to be standing here with you today. You make everything easy. You make life easy. I have never felt this type of connection with anyone before, and I truly believe that you are my Prince Charming. You have always been a constant in my life, and I'm so grateful for you. I promise to try new things and step out of my comfort zone when I'm with you. I promise to listen to and understand you. I promise always to listen when you talk. I promise to hear you out, especially when I think I'm right. I promise to always be by your side and continue doing the little things that make you happy. I promise to be like a rock for you, steady and sure, never waving. No matter how bad it may be, I promise to be there for you, for us. I promise to adore you no matter what crazy nickname you come up for me next. I promise to give you the patience and respect that you give me every day. I promise to love you for who you are because that is the man I have fallen in love with and I fall more in love with every day. I cannot promise to always keep you happy, but I promise to always work at our relationship, especially when it's difficult. Shannon, I am excited to spend the rest of my life with you. I am overjoyed to start our next chapter together. To infinity and beyond, baby. Life is full of choices, and I promise to choose you every day. I will always love you. Now I'm not allowed to kiss her. <laughs> you two were meant to be from the very beginning, during those high school days. Even though you both were so young, your hearts knew you found the one. Your hearts have been one, always. Do you, Brian, take Shannon to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Do you, Shannon, take Brian to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. 
by the power vested in me in the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Galliard. Spencer Gordon, and uh, in case you don't know who I am, I am Brian's best man, and I'm honored to be in this position today. Um, I met Brian almost 20 years ago. Um, it's hard to remember exactly how you met somebody that long ago, but I, I have a vivid memory of walking into this room and seeing this little tiny loud person and just being fascinated by him. And I think he was fascinated by me because he had never seen somebody so tall and awkward. So we just clicked at that point and you know, the rest is history. But um, you know, we started to grow up and I use the term grow up very loosely. It was, uh, you know, we started taking things a little more seriously, but you know, we were still us, so. Uh, but yeah, time goes on and then he met the love of his life. And from there, You had this glow about you that I could not ignore. It takes a pretty special person to love Brian, as we all know. And <laughs> Shannon, you are that special person. You're the most patient, kind-hearted person I've ever met, and I am incredibly happy that you're marrying my best friend. <laughs> and you know, while I'm like this, I'd like to publicly apologize for calling you Sharon the first time we met. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That, you know, I've never gotten that off my chest, so now it's off my chest, and, you know, I feel good, so. <laughs> Overall, just, ugh, I didn't think I was actually gonna cry. <laughs> um, overall, I just really kind of appreciate the fact that I was able to be a big sister. Um, I got to watch my baby sister grow up. You know, another thing that when I think about Brian and Shannon, years ago when they first started dating, there's this picture of the two of them. Shannon, she's in a, um, she's in a red sweatshirt and they're sitting on the bleachers at Ponderosa and Shannon has her braids, or her hair in braids and she's kind of sitting and they're, I think it's one of their first pictures that they took. It was pretty early on. Yeah. And there's just so much glow, and I can just see how much they love each other. And it's just pretty amazing to get to see that for so long and to be a part of it. So I'm so excited for you two, and can't wait to hear about your adventures and to be a part of those adventures. And I just love you both so much. So Brian, take care of my baby sister, and welcome to the family.